Welcome back, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw the level 40 Prognathodon from Jurassic World the game. So, I got my uh, mechanical eraser and my mechanical pencil, so you can get those out. And if you don't have them, you can just get a regular school pencil and eraser. And because it's going to be black and white, even though I know some of you guys have been commenting to do it in color, I've decided to do it in black and white like I usually do. Um, but it's still going to be really cool, so, yeah, we're going to do a full body prognathodon. Most likely I'll ha put a shark in as well, like half of a shark, because it, it's eating a shark, so, <laughs> it's going to be very cool. We're going to start by putting in an outline, an oval shape for the body, and it's got a very large head, and the jaw is going to bottom draw is going to be open, so you can put it like that. Prognathodon looks very cool at level 40 and has always been one of my favorite sea creatures. Not my most favorite because Mosasaurus is my top favorite sea creature. So you can put it in this tail it has. A little bit similar to sharks, but not the same. It has a lot of decorations on it. So that's a <laughs> very rough outline of our prognathodon. So now we can start by refining it by putting in a little bit more detail. So since it's going, to, I've got several reference images I'm using. It was actually kind of hard to find some good ones, but. It's got a very weird looking head, especially when it's at level 40. It's got lots of studs protruding on the top of the head. It's got a well refined eye ridge, or brow ridge, I guess you could call it from the eye socket area. Then we'll put a lot of shading in because it has a lot of shading under its this ridge. And it's kind of hard to tell where the nose is, but it's right about there. Got my eraser out and erase the lines I don't need. Just to make it a little bit simpler. I know one of you requested Prognathodon, so I hope you're ha going to be very happy with the results here. It's got the product has these little spots on it that we'll put in. It doesn't really have stripes, but it has spots like to make it look sort of like a turtle or some sort of sea creature. So we'll go ahead and put those in because I think they're very cool. You might get them mixed up with the nose, but that's okay. And I'll also put in some more pencil lines that'll give our prognathodon's head some more shape. Cause it's all about shape, you wanna know. You wanna make it look 3D. Put those lines in. So I've been the Jurassic World of game. People have said they're going to release some sort of glacier park. I don't, I don't know at all a lot about it. So just in case, I'm sure you guys, most of you have heard about the new update. But 
Just wanted to make sure that I know there's going to be a mammoth probably, but I don't know. I don't know where, where they would put it on the island, but I know they're going to put a glacier park or something. <laughs> I'm, I just don't know much about it, so I'm not going to speculate too much. So it's pretty good for the top of the head. Feel free to add scales if you like. That always gives the dinosaur an extra few touches. Even though Prognathodon is not a dinosaur. And I know somebody eventually is going to leave in the comments, Hey, Prognathodon's not a dinosaur. So <laughs> Because people said, said that about the Mosasaur, and I was like, well, I know it's not a dinosaur, but. So that looks pretty good for the head. And now we can put in some teeth. It has the usual aquatic teeth, just a lot of them. Not too big, like T Rexes, but. A lot of spiky teeth. Like so, that looks really nice actually. Take my eraser and erase these lines we don't need. I have a feeling Prognathodon is going to look very nice. Sea creatures always look the best to me. To me, I don't know why. There's less glitchy than the other um, creatures. So now we have to work on the bottom jaw. The bottom jaw is quite simple. So it'll be easy to tackle. We'll be looking inside it so you'll be able to see the tongue and both rows of teeth. Start of the tongue. Now we can put in the teeth. I wouldn't want to be bitten by this monster, that's for sure. All those teeth. We'll add a little bit more detail. Putting in shading helps a lot. And I'll zoom in a bit more so you can see it more clearly. You can feel free to add scales to the bottom jaw as well as the top one. Like so, that looks pretty good for the bottom jaw. Our prognathodon. And now we can move on to the rest of the body. It's going to be eating a shark, so I might as well add that now actually. I'm probably just gonna have part of the shark left. I hope nobody finds this gruesome. <laughs> but dinosaurs are often that way. So now we're gonna work a little bit on our shark. I'm probably just gonna have the front part left. The other part's gonna be like bitten off by the mighty Pragnothodon. Should be called like <laughs> Prognathodon Shark Eater or something like that. That sounds a little lame, but. <laughs> so, this, the shark's head is going to be at this end.
and the Prognathodon's coming back to finish it off. Let's put some gills in. Shark was not happy. <laughs> The shark didn't even put up a fight for Prognathodon. So you can put a little bit of detail in there. Not gonna go too much into too much detail to make this shark look good, but we want perfection, so the top part of the shark will be a darker color than the lower part. It's just standard in sh all sharks, usually. Especially if it's a great white. So maybe you even have some, like, blood. coming from the poor shark that something like that <laughs> that looks pretty good for our shark except the shark is quite small compared to the frognathodon which might not be that realistic so yeah let's continue just switching reference images there Let's continue with our prognathodon. So we're going to work on the back. It has these plates, armored plates that stretch across the length of its back, which would make it quite hard to kill unless you attacked its belly. And prognathodon does not have a single spike on it. This has armored plates and bumps on its back. And it also has this weird type of stuff under its chin. Which looks kind of weird. So we can put that in. I'm going to shade right now. like so. Put in some of those spots it has. And now we can put in its flipper. It has a, like a regular flipper except it's got like, not like fingers, but like you can see the spots where if it had fingers, the fingers would be. It also has blotches along its shoulder. We'll put a little bit more refinement into our flipper there. Like so, it looks pretty good. And now we can put in this vein that goes from the head to the under side of the belly. So, uh, neck does not have much, it's basically connected to the this blood doesn't look very realistic. Might work on it a bit. 
I had like watercolors or something that would make it look more realistic, but we don't, so. <laughs> I mean, you might, but I do have some. I'm not gonna go get them. So now we can add a little more texture to these plates that go along the back. I was amazed at how much you guys like my Megalodon video. It's like that video already has a lot of views compared to some of my other videos. Like my part two of Indominus Rex, which is around six months old. That one has like, I don't know, around 2,000 views over 2,000 views, but the Megalodon, which is just just about one month old, already has that amount as well. It's kind of crazy <laughs> how much, or maybe just the Megalodon was better drawn or something. Because Indominus Rex was quite cool, I think. <laughs> no, this I said, I think. I'm pretty sure I, you guys really like the Indominus Rex video. Even though I'm planning to do one sometime in the future. I don't know when, because I got so many requests to do videos. I have to get those done. And I was going to do Prognathodon anyways, just so you know. But I hope I'm pleasing most of you with my, with your drawing the dinosaurs you guys requested. Like I still have to draw Irritator and I know someone's gonna comment that you forgot to draw Irritator. But I'm I'm going to draw it soon. Along with uh Prior Trodon, I'm going to draw that as well in the future. And Monolophosaurus, Spinoraptor, I have to get that one done. That was requested a while ago. So yeah, we'll just shade our, the, shade the plates. Give them a bit more refinement. Like so. And it looks kind of weird. It looks like a sausage, sort of, our pragnathodon. If we don't add the rest of the back and belly. So we'll put that in shortly. Just erasing the smudge here. I probably should get a piece of paper or something. So I won't smudge. I'm just going to use this brochure, <laughs> just a random brochure to use. You can just use a piece of paper or anything, but I didn't have one at hand. So you won't smudge your drawing, because it's quite a shame if you smudge it like that. Then you have to go back and erase, and it's really quite irritating. Now we can put the, the belly in. It's mostly shaded in because it's under the prognathodon. So it won't get as much sun. So you can just shade that in. That looks pretty good. And feel free to add scales as well. I don't know if you guys can hear that noise outside. It's uh, the leaf, leaf uh, cleaner guys, whatever. They pick up all the leaves. So it won't. So they just don't stay there on the street. <laughs> I don't know like where you are right now, but in the states, most in most places in the states, the leaves fall off the trees in the fall time. 
I know it's obvious if you live here, but if you're in like, I don't know, Brazil or <laughs> Brazil or India or some place like that. I don't think the leaves fall in the in the fall time. Maybe they do. That just shows how <laughs> much I know about other countries. So put that in. Look at my eraser and erase the lines we don't need. Just to clean it up a bit there. And also the these humps on the back of the prognathodon have spots as well, so we'll put those in after we shade, which I'm doing right now. So I'm getting quite close to hitting 400 subscribers, which is very exciting. Looking forward to when I get 400. It might be today, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Just gonna put in those spots. Gotta make it look organic, so some have to be bigger or smaller and others. So that looks pretty good for the back there, or pragmathodon. Um, now we have to just put in the back flipper, which is quite simple. Just like a copy of the front one. So that looks pretty good for our back flipper. Now we can just continue on with the the tail. The tail is completely armored and is quite long and powerful and that's what Prognathodon uses to kill its opponent when it has seven attack or more in the game. Even though that's not my favorite attack in the sea creatures, it's pretty creative. So we'll put in the tail. It's got like jagged, <laughs> jagged pieces at the back of the tail. And I just broke my lead. That's one problem with mechanical pencils, but if you're careful, it rarely happens to me. Or I mean, if you're careful, it'll rarely, it will rarely happen to you. <laughs> But it usually happens like in a video. It doesn't happen when I'm not in the video, so it's kind of embarrassing. But <laughs> so we'll cross hatch the tail here, making sure we give this picture movement because we don't want it to look like a still image we want it to make it look like it's actually a movement so 
we'll add some more diesel here. The tail is mostly dark. So yeah, our Prognathodon video is coming to a close. I think it's one of the coolest sea creatures I've drawn so far. Definitely a good drawing and an amazing sea creature and an unfortunate shark. <laughs> oh, I not I, did I block that out? Maybe I did. I just wasn't looking at the camera screen. I was looking at the drawing. So there you have it. There's our. Level 40 Prognathodon from Jurassic World Game and an unfortunate great white that is being humiliated by our amazing sea creature friend. <laughs> so yeah, be sure to like this video, share it, subscribe right here. I'll add the subscribe little icon after I'm done with the video. So uh -huh. yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later with more videos. Thanks for watching.